tackling people. Who's ready for some live performances? No, that was totally dry. This documentary is a brief glimpse into my life as an unsigned artist. My name's MC Angel, AKA Shauna O'Brien. Um, I grew up in Camden Town. Yeah, that's me. Got into music and writing poetry because as a youth, I went through a lot of personal struggles, a lot of darkness, a lot of times not understanding myself and why I was here. Music really helped me understand myself. Writing just seemed to transform all my negative experiences into something positive. These blocks was more like my home than my home. To be here on the blocks is quite a trapping of a mindset. It's really difficult to get yourself out. I had to fight tooth and nail to get myself out of this situation, to get myself off the block, to get myself out of the estate, off blazing every single solitary day and doing nothing with myself. So then starting to go to college and then starting to do music. Like, music is the main thing that has saved me from that life. You know, doing music, I'm able to hold my head high and be like, yeah, I can create something, I can do something. It makes me feel more of a worthwhile human being. I got to meet this woman named Red Jen and I was lacking a female figure to look up to in my life so Red Jen came in and really helped me to stabilise myself and also helped me to have belief in myself. I met Angel through a neighbour that was concerned about her well-being. As a young girl, she didn't kind of like didn't know whether to kind of be with the family, be with somewhere else. I think at, the, at that time she was she'd moved into a, 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 a place with some friends or whatever, which wasn't quite healthy. And um, I was pulled in because this person knew that I did stuff that she had wanted to do, i.e., working with children. The reason why I picked her up was because she was a young girl with loads of fabulous, enthusiastic ideas. And I just thought, well, you know what? I'm looking at me all those years ago, you know, at that age. I've, I've had the experience to know how I could help her to bottle all that information that she's got and the creativity and to help her kind of like succeed in the future. I like to musically collaborate with a lot of different bands. And one of the greatest things about collaborating with bands as a sort of featured MC is for the fact that you get to meet promoters everywhere you go and you can plug the stuff that you're doing also. So tonight you're going to get a taster of what I've done when I've worked with the Lena Cullen band. MC Angel. I think tonight was an amazing evening because my friend here, Lena Cullen, played a beautiful set and she invited all her friends to be part of it and that makes her show even more dazzling. So well done to Clever Brains here, Lena Cullen. Very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> First time I just came down with the trio. We did the set and that went down well. And I thought, hmm, what could I do to make the next one even better? And this is what happens. Well, a lot of people here, probably the first time they've seen or heard Angel perform. So I was looking around the room while, while the performance was going on. Some people didn't know how to react, but a lot of people were just getting into the First time was on a really deep level. So for me, when I have to deliver something that's so deep, carried carrying such a deep message is quite difficult to do it and I think I really felt in the room that people did listen I felt honoured to be part of it and to be part of the vibe tonight. As an artist I've performed in venues, festivals and most recently I've hosted an event in Barcode in Vauxhall. This is a night called Confessions run by a girl called Misty B. It's a hip-hop commercial R&B night. I am going to be hosting the event so a lot of artists that I know are going to be performing here tonight. I'm going to be introducing their performances. All right, well, we've got some amazing performers for you tonight. So I want to test your skills and how much noise you can make. How much noise can you make, guys? Yay! That's good. That's actually very excellent. I'm actually really impressed. All right, the first performer is called Akairi. She's going to do some nice down-tempo numbers for you. Please put your hands together. It's Akairi! Nothing was happening, but me, including the performers, were 
shout out. Worked really hard to make it hyper, to get the crowd going. So I feel good. As well as performing in other venues and hosting for other events, I also run and perform at my own event, which is called Lick It at the Candy Bar. Right about now, we are at the Candy Bar. As you can see behind me, that's the logo. Tonight is our run called Lick It. Is everyone all right? Yeah! All right, this is Lick It at the Candy Bar. I organized the event tonight. I organized the performers. I organized the lineup every month and each week I have a different genre of music. I'm in like quite a lot of different scenes, so I kind of find artists from a lot of places. A couple from MySpace, but not too many. This gentleman sitting next to me is Nutty P, big boy producer. Nutty came down when some of the other females that he works with were at the night. Yeah. So I just invited him up on the stage because I know him from like just around the scene. Oh, we just get on because he's like, Kind of kooky and mad, and like, <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of kooky and mad, you know, so it about works well. Yeah, that, you know, that's it. Still it's fun. About the vibes. Yeah. It's always a nice vibe in there, you know, every time I come. I'm saying, regardless of how many people it is, no matter how ram or not so ram, it's always a vibe and people always like appreciate it of the music. As long as they're having a good time, I'm having a good time. So, yeah. Tonight, it's going to be a good night. We've got loads of performers. It's going to be wicked. amazing but I want to say special thanks to Paris One, to Nighty P. These have been my people who have been helping me through. Paris has been there from day when I started trying to put um, hip hop on in the candy bar so I like to give thanks to the people that have helped me. Tonight's been the most successful that the hip hop night has been. It's been amazing and that's thanks to everyone that has been here. So big up to the crew. You know, yeah. Respect to the more side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Highlights for this evening has definitely been everyone. Jazz fucking smashed it. This was the girl's first PA. Big up to MC Volts. She's been my girl from day. Basics. He's been in my crew for how long and it's his first time coming through. DJ Shorty as well. He's my crew. It's his first time coming through. So big up to Shorty. Big up to Basics. Big up to the fans! Music is more than music to me. My aspirations are to really make a change. So through my music, I want to make a change to this world. I want to inspire people. I want to say to them, I've come from the blocks. I've come from not wanting to be alive. I've come from hating my life. I've come from being in the darkest places. I've come from being depressed every day. To being happy, to loving life, to giving thanks for everything. I've been the yin and the yang. I've been to all the extremes. So I want to show that no matter what, no matter how dark it is for you, no matter how hard this life is, you can get through that. And through my music, that's the message that I want to pass. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> MC Angel, hey! <laughs>